Hi guys, I had recently export uh, one of these ringtones from other phone and uh, hoping to play on my iPhone. And uh, once I actually import it to my iTunes, okay, and I can actually play it normally. But unfortunately, uh, uh, the size is too big and therefore I cannot synchronize it with my iPhone. So um, what's happened is uh, I, I, find, I find that for all M4R um, uh, file format, is, is you can't actually get any uh, software from internet, uh, media converter. Uh, you can only select, convert MP3 to M4R, but you cannot convert M4R to MP3 format. So, uh, uh, for example, even if I actually like rename it to MP3, you cannot actually like play at all. Okay, you can't actually play at all. So what's happened? It's um, I discover a way where you can actually convert it back to uh, 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 MP3. Uh, you can actually resize it with the help of the Garage Band. Okay, so let's start Garage Band. So if you look at it now, if I just sort of like drag this M4R file to GarageBand, you can't. So what you have to do, you have to rename it to MP3. And then drag it in there. So once you actually got it there, you can actually plays it normally. Okay, once you can do that, you can you can you can actually play with it, you can actually trim it down, trim the bit that you want, okay, like this, okay, trim that bit you want. Alternatively, you can actually revert it back to the MP3 format. Uh, in here, in the garage band there is a function you can actually send song to iTunes, uh, which is in MP3 format or you can actually uh, edit it and send ring to i2 and make it back to the M, uh, M4R format. Thanks. Hope you like it.